There are two ways to link between grids, automatic and manual. Automatic linking creates a link when you make a new grid or tray. Manual linking requires you to create the links at a later stage. When you're ready to make a new grid, right click on the cell that you want to link from and from the menu that pops up choose Add a new grid and you will see there are three options. Unlinked, which is the one you would use when you want to link manually later on, linked from this cell for creating a sequence of grids and linked from this cell with a back button. For this example we're going to link from this cell and when you create it you will see it's made a new grid with the same layout and appearance as the original and it's created a thumbnail on the right hand side here in the grid viewer. If you click back onto the first grid you will see that that linked cell has now been coloured and we will look at how you change those colours later on. And you will also see in the top right hand corner this little link icon has become bold to show that there is a link attached to that cell. You may have some cells in your grid that you want to copy into the next grid. For example in this activity the delete cell and the next cell both have some actions attached. To copy any cells from one grid to another you need to first select them and remember you can multiply select cells by holding down the control key and now right click from the cell that you want to link from and as before select add a new grid linked from this cell and this time you will see that the whole of the contents of those two cells has been copied into this new grid and similarly when you want to copy those into your third grid select those again holding down control right click add a new grid linked from this cell and you will see those cells have been copied yet again into your third grid in this example the four cells for lunch dinner snacks and drinks will link to another grid which will have the choices that are available and when the user has written what they like or dislike for lunch then they would like to come back and then choose again from another category. So this time when we make a link we want to make the link with the back button. So we right click on the drink cell, add a new grid and linked from this cell with the back button creates a new grid again similar to the previous one in layout and style but this time there is a back button already there and the link has been established for you and you can see that the icon is bold. You don't have to keep the same arrangement internally. You could still change the size of the cells, perhaps insert a column. And when you return to the first grid, that has not been affected by these changes, but you can see that the link has been made by the bold icon and by the color. So far we've been looking at automatic linking which is between grids within the same stack. This time I have grids on two different stages. I have a stack of grids with different food types vegetables, salad, carbohydrate and protein and then I have a menu grid from which you can choose to open up the grid that you want to write from. And in this case you need to make the links manually. When you're doing manual linking, it's really important to have the grids labelled so you can make sure that you are linking to the correct grids. To label a grid, just double click in the little box below its thumbnail and type in the label that you want. Before making the link, make sure that you have the menu grid showing and you have the grid that you want to link to showing. The first way is to use the link tool. So you can click on the link tool button here and then click in the cell that you want to link from 
and you see an arrow is attached to your mouse pointer and you can then go either to the thumbnail of the grid you want to link to or to the grid itself. The other way of linking is to pick up the link icon in the top right corner of the cell that you want to link from and with your left mouse button held down drag that across to the thumbnail of the grid that you want to link to. And now all four grids are linked. However, I would like to have each of these grid cells with a different link colour to help distinguish them. Select the cell that you want to change the link colour and then right click and go to Edit Grid Appearance. And because we had just the one cell selected, only that one is highlighted and will have any changes affected. And now I can go to the linked cells and click on the coloured bar and choose a new colour. I can see it immediately in the actual grid and if I'm happy I can click OK. So in this way I can change the appearance of each of the cells to help the user.